Hi friends, so welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see the packet tracer uh, compare 2960 and 3560. Here is our objectives. In part 1, we will compare a layer 2 and a layer 3 switches. And in part 2, compare a layer 3 switch and a router. We will go through the background. In this activity, we will use various commands to examine three different switching topologies and compare the similarities and differences between the 2960 and 3560 switches. Also, uh, we will compare the routing table of a 1941 router with a 3560 switch. Now we will come to uh, part 2 1. Compare layer 2 and layer 3 switches. Examine the physical aspects of D1 and ASW1. Each individual switch has how many physical interfaces? Yes, coming to the topology, here we can see our D1 and ASW1 device. First of all, we will check it on D1. CLI. Right. Here we will give show IP interface brief and here we can see the number of interfaces. We can see total 24 fast Ethernet uh, and 2 gigabit Ethernet interfaces so we have total 26 interfaces on uh, uh, d1 now we will uh, check it on sw1 coming to cli show ip interface brief here we can see the fast ethernet interfaces 24 and uh, here we can see 2 gigabit uh, interfaces so total we have 26 interface uh, on sw1 here is the next question. How many fast Ethernet and Gigabit Ethernet interfaces does each switch have? Yes, just now we have seen uh, on both uh, devices 24 fast Ethernet and uh, 2 Gigabit Ethernet interfaces uh, we have seen. Now uh, list the transmission speed of the fast Ethernet and Gigabit Ethernet interfaces on each switch. Yes. Uh, so obviously the fast Ethernet interfaces uh, support uh, speeds of uh, 10 or 100 Mbps and the Gigabit Ethernet interfaces support uh, speeds up to uh, 1000 Mbps. Next is are either of the two switches uh, modular in design? No, they are uh, not uh, modular in design. Now we will come to uh, B. The interface of a 3560 switch can be configured as a layer 3 interface by entering the no switch port command in interface configuration mode. Yes, exactly. We can use this command. Uh, this allows technician to assign an IP address and submit to mask to the interface the same way it is configured on a router's interface. Yes, exactly. So what is the difference between a layer 2 switch and a layer 3 switch? Yeah. We know a layer 2 switch makes forwarding decisions based on layer 2 addresses. That means, I mean the MAC address. Interfaces on layer 3 switches can be configured with IP address. So the switches uh, can also be configured with the routing protocols just like a router. Next is, uh, what is the difference between a switch's physical interface and the VLAN interface? Yes. So, a switch's a physical interface is used to physically connect end devices to the network. For that purpose, we are using physical interface. A switch to virtual interface that is called SVI or VLAN is used to configure the switch with an IP address so that it can be managed remotely. Some of the packet tracer activity we have seen uh, uh, how to configure uh, uh, VLAN. Next is uh, on which layers uh, do 2960 and 3560 switches operate? Yes, we know that 2960 operates on layer 2 and uh, the 3560 operates on layer 2 and layer 3. Now uh, issue the show run command to examine the configurations of the D1 and SW1 switches. Uh, do you notice any differences between them? Right, we will verify that. First of all, we will come to SW1. Here we are going to give a show running config. And here we can see the details. Here we can see all the interfaces. 
here we can see the interface VLAN it's configured assigned with IP address also given the default gateway and here we can see the line console and the line VTY yes now we will come to D1 right enable show running config and here we can see the differences right oh here we can see the enabled ip routing which is not uh, uh, seen in sw3 right as it's a layer 3 uh, switch faster third interfaces here we can see gigabit ethernet and yes here they given no switch port command and here we can see the assign the ip address with the subnet to mask yes also on a gigabit ethernet 0 slash 2 also assigned uh, given this no switch port command and assign this IP address and submit to mask yes next is uh, display the routing table on both switches using the show IP root command uh, why do you think the command does not work on ASW1 but uh, works on D1 yes so we will check that first first of all we will verify on sw1 here we are going to give the command show ip root here we are going to check it we can see it's unrecognized command yes now we will check it on d1 show ip root yes here we can see the root yes so it works on d1 uh, this uh, layer 3 switch uh, because uh, it functions on layer 2 and layer 3 which allows it to function as a layer 2 switch but at the same time allows it to route packets and make forwarding decisions based on layer 3 information that is ip address the same time that conventional switches cannot do this now we will come to uh, part 2 compare a layer 3 switch and a router up until recently switches and routers have been separate and distinct devices the term switch was set aside for hardware devices that function at layer 2 routers on the other hand are devices that make forwarding decisions based on layer 3 information they use routing protocols to share routing information and to communicate with other routers Layer 3 switches such as the 3560 can be configured to forward layer 3 packets. Entering the IP routing command in global configuration mode allows layer 3 switches to be configured with routing protocols, thereby possessing some of the same capabilities as a router. Although similar in some forms, switches are different than in many other aspects. Open the physical tab on D1 and R1. Uh, do you notice any similarities between the two? Do you notice any differences between the two? Right, we will check that. First of all, we will come to D1. Yes, here is our uh, physical tab and here we can see console port. Also, here we can see uh, gigabit Ethernet, 2 gigabit Ethernet and here we can see uh, 24 uh, fast Ethernet ports uh, uh, that means D1 has only fixed interfaces yes now we will come to R1 yes here is a physical tab and here we can see uh, here we can see the console port so we have seen on D1 also this is one similarity also we can see uh, the gigabit Ethernet interfaces also R1 is a modular and can add various interfaces here we can see that uh, empty slot so we can add your uh, different modules but it was not possible on a D1 device uh, that has only fixed interfaces also on R1 here we can see uh, a serial and asynchronous interface uh, which is uh, not present in uh, D1 and D1 uh, got only uh, Ethernet interfaces 
that means D1 can only use copper cables while R1 can use various connection types. Next is so issue the show run command and examine the configurations of R1 and D1. What differences do you see between the two? Right, we will check that. Show running config already we have given on D1. Right, we will give once more. Enable show running config and here we can see they given the command IP routing. and uh, assign the IP address uh, uh, for this interface uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 and 0 slash 2 so they assigned 10.1 for uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 and 11.1 uh, for uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 2 also they given uh, the command no switch port now we will come to R1 CLI right here we are going to give enable show running config yes here we can see that uh, 10 to 1 oh they given on gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 and uh, 11 to 1 given on gi gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 right yes so from the show command we have seen r1 and d1 have the same ip addresses configured on them but on different interfaces yes and in order for the switch port to be assigned an ip address uh, technician given uh, that command no switch port next is uh, which command allows d1 to configure an ip address on one of its uh, physical interfaces yeah, obviously we have to use the no switch port command next is uh, use the show IP root command on both devices do you see any similarities or differences between the two tables right we will give this show command first of all we will come to D1 here we are going to give a show IP root and here we can see the details uh, this code is for connected yes here we can see two uh, connected now we will come to r1 here we are going to give a show ip root oh here we can see the code c and l also so this uh, code L uh, is for uh, local yes so on both devices we have seen the same code except the router has an L code for local so this is a link that is configured on the physical interface of R1 while the switch does not have it both devices display the same networks in the routing tables next is uh, now analyze the routing table of R2 and D2 what is evident now that was not in the configuration of R1 and D1? Right. We will come to D2, CLI. Enable, show IP root. Here we can see. Yes, connected. Also, here we can see something called the code D. This is for EIGRP. Right. Now we will uh, check it on R2. CLI enable show I oops we have to give show IP root yes so here also we can see connected here we can see local also here we can see the code D uh, for EIGRP yes so they both have EIGRP configured and they both are learning networks from one another now we will come to uh, B. Verify that each topology has full connectivity by completing the following test. Ping from PC1 to PC2, ping from PC3 to PC4, ping from PC5 to PC6. Right, we will do this first. First of all, we will uh, ping from PC1 to PC2. So we will get the IP address of PC2. so here we can see that I'm going to copy this IP address now we will come to PC1 command prompt 
we're going to ping two PC two. We are waiting for the replay. Request timed out. Yes, we are getting the replay. Now we will ping from PC three to PC four. Uh, before that, we will get the IP address of a PC four using IP config. Here is the address. I'm going to copy that. Right now we will come to PC three. Desktop command prompt. Ping to PC three. Right. Oops, no, it is from PC3 to PC4, right. So we are waiting for the replay. Yes, we are getting the replay. And finally, we will ping from PC5 to PC6. We will get the IP address of PC6. So we will copy this IP address. Coming to PC5, command prompt ping to PC6 we are waiting for the replay ok one request timed out yes we are getting the replay now uh, in all three examples uh, each PC is on a different network which device is used to provide communication between networks yes here we can see uh, uh, routers and multi-layer uh, switches are used to provide communication between uh, networks. Next is uh, why were we able to ping across networks without there being a router? Yes, so a multi-layer switch can uh, route between networks as long as it is configured with an IP address and has IP routing, t uh, routing enabled. IP routing must also be enabled if you plan to run routing protocols such as uh, EIGRP uh, on the switch. The no switch port command must be enabled on the interface in order to assign an IP address and subnet mask on the switch's physical interface. Yes, so that's all in this uh, PyCartizer activity uh, that is uh, compared to 9.6.0 and 3.5.6.0. Dear friends, if you have any doubt, please comment below. Also, if you like my video, don't forget to give a thumb. Also, a lot of packet tracer activities are in progress. Uh, to get that information, you can subscribe the channel right now so that you will get the information into your Gmail. Thank you.